Hi, I'm Chef Catherine in the Growing Chefs Ontario kitchen and I'm going to teach you an essential recipe to make the best s'mores ever, honey graham crackers. This recipe came to us from Chef Greg Wade, who's come up annually from Chicago for the past few years to run a bread camp that's based on heritage grains. Try to incorporate as many different heritage grains as you can and you'll be able to have a whole new palette of flavors which will enhance your cooking and also support local farmers. Before you get started, make sure you've read through the recipe, checked your mise en place and washed your hands. This recipe actually comes together very easily. I'm going to mix everything together in a food processor, but if you don't have a food processor at home, that's not a problem. You can absolutely mix everything by hand and it's still pretty easy. So the first thing I'm going to do is add all of my dry ingredients to the bowl of my food processor here. So first my whole wheat flour. This came from the Art of a Flour Mill and it's absolutely lovely. I have some oat flour here. If you don't have oat flour or can't find it, you can just mix up oats in a food processor or in a blender and that will make your own oat flour. So oat flour, then some sugar, some salt, some baking soda, and some baking powder. and then the butter. I've cut the butter into cubes just to help it break up a little bit easier in the food processor. So I'll just put on the lid and then I'm going to pulse this together until the mixture kind of resembles wet sand. So if I take this off here, you can see it kind of resembles a coarse wet sand here. I'm going to now mix together all of my wet ingredients and then put them in the food processor as well. So into the bowl goes my water, my vanilla, and my honey. So this is just a regular wildflower honey from a local apiary, but you can incorporate different types of honey. Buckwheat honey is so delicious and it'll add some more flavor to this too. So I'm just gonna start to mix this together a little bit here because the honey's a little bit uh, harder and I'll just take the food processor off and I'm going to tip everything into here and again we're just going to pulse this all together until a dough forms. So I'll stop and you can kind of see it starting to collect on the edges of the bowl that's good. If it looks a little bit dry you can add a small amount of additional water too. This looks like a good consistency here. If I grab it, it will come together. So I'm just going to get a bowl and I'll dump it all into a bowl and we'll press it together. So I decided this dough is a little bit dry. I'm going to just tip a tiny bit of water into here, maybe just a couple more teaspoons and I'll just bring it together now. So I just want it to be kind of in one lump. You'll notice that the dough is a little bit crumbly. That just kind of is in nature of the graham cracker dough. So I've got most of it here. I'll just put it onto my work surface. You can smell that honey in there. It smells beautiful. And I'm just kind of rounding it out into a disc that I flatten. This will make it a lot easier when it comes time to roll it out. So from here, I'm just gonna wrap it up with some plastic wrap and I'll pop it in the fridge for about two hours just until it's well chilled and then we'll bring it out and we'll roll out our graham crackers. I pulled the dough out of the fridge and it feels good. It's not completely rock solid. It has a little bit of give. That's what we're looking for. If you pull it out of the fridge and it's just too hard to work with, leave it on the counter for a couple minutes so it will soften up. Time to get dirty. Just gonna get a good amount of flour down here on the table and sprinkle it liberally at the top. As I said before, this dough has a tendency to crumble. So if you're having a hard time working with it, maybe put a little bit of parchment paper underneath that will help you to pick up the pieces. So I'm just gonna roll this out flat. You can see that it's cracking a bit. It's just a sign that the dough is a little bit cool. That's okay. You can just kind of press it together as you go along. And as we re-roll it, 
uh, we can just kind of put it back together too. This is a very forgiving dough. So I'm looking for a thickness of just a couple millimeters here. And what you can do is you can either cut the graham crackers out with a paring knife or you can use a cookie cutter that's square shaped. These don't have to be square graham crackers. They can be really whatever shape you want them to be. Just really pay attention and make sure that your dough is not sticking to the table or it's not sticking to your rolling pin because then it'll be a little bit harder to get up. So you can see it's not perfectly round. That's totally okay. We're gonna cut out what we can from here and then we'll re-roll it. So I want some nice square uh, graham crackers and I'm gonna make them actually look like graham crackers that you get at a grocery store. So I'll put them on my baking tray here. I'm just going to score them with a paring knife down the middle. And then using a fork, I'm gonna dock them a couple times. This is gonna help them rise evenly too. Look at that, so cute. So we'll just keep going. I'll get as many as I can out of this roll here, and then I'll re-roll it and we'll start again. So with your scraps, you can just bring them back together and then dust a little bit more flour if you need to. Push it down and then flour the top gently, brushing off any extra. And it seems like it's a bit of a better, more workable temperature now. So I think we'll have a little bit more success rolling it out nicely. If your dough is starting to stick, just a little bit to the table, grab a spatula just to help loosen it up there. So again, just to make these look cute like the graham crackers that you'd buy at a store, I'll just score the middle. This will make them easier to break in half too if you just want to have a smaller piece. And then with my fork, just dock a couple fork pricks in each graham cracker to help with an even rise. So our graham crackers are all trayed up. You want to put them in a 300 degree oven for about 20 minutes. Make sure you set a timer for about 15 minutes and watch to make sure that the edges are just a little bit golden brown. Then it's time to pull them out. Our graham crackers just came out of the oven. I let them cool for a few minutes and they smell beautiful still. I can't wait to try one. They have the score so they should just break apart beautifully like that and they have a really great nice kind of sandy texture to them. Make sure if you haven't watched our marshmallow video to watch that try making some homemade marshmallows and put it all together for the best s'more ever.